My name is Alan Thomas. This is my sister, Geraldine Thomas. We uh, reside, um, have a property right next door to and adjoining Bristow Village, um, the new Bristow Village. Um, we're here. Um, well, first, a little bit, teeny bit about ourselves is we own the property that has been there and we've been on this property for over a century. Um, we have, uh, um, at some point, we decided that um, best interest or whatnot or, or because of our retirement, things of that nature, that we, we're going to, uh, to sell the property. Um, at um, some point or whatnot, we had been next to the uh, Bristol, New Bristol Village, and finding out that this meeting was to take place, uh, town hall, that was a community town hall, uh, to an open forum, an, an open forum um, that we were to, to just come there and introduce ourselves to our neighbors and, um, get, to to all, and get to know our neighbors, get the neighbors to know something about us. Um, and um, in doing so, also, there were some other uh, topics that were going to come up about uh, Am Amazon uh, moving, uh, as well as New Bristol Crossing, right across the road from our property. Interested in knowing what was going to happen there or whatnot. We uh, have no desire to leave Noakesville and Bristow. No desire at all. Just, um, just wanted to know things. Well, anyway, um, uh, also, we're, we're very heavily uh, committed to the things that happen in the community. Um, the, uh, our local Ruotans, which I'm a member of, we have uh, Noakesville Day. We have uh, uh, Noakesville Parade, the uh, Noakesville Christmas Parade, the uh, uh, lighting, Noakesville Christmas tree lighting. We also, as the Ruotans, have Brunswick Stew. Uh, every every year, those are some of the things that uh, we, we, that we're heavily involved in within the area. Um, in doing so, what has come to happen here is that um, the New Bristol Village has, or Janine Lawson, our supervisor, has um, put a flyer out saying that. There was to be a community town hall uh, for people to come to, and um, we were uh, uh, coming. We, we came in, sat down to be at this meeting, and someone got up and requested that anyone that was not living in the Bristow, well, New Bristol Village and other Bristow. communities, it turned into a private meeting. Yes, that, um, and that we were to leave. So, so anyone who wasn't living in those communities, that we should, should leave. Correct. And so the proper thing we and felt so to do we, was to leave. And we did leave, but we felt like we didn't get an opportunity to meet anyone. Correct. Uh, we didn't get an opportunity to meet anyone, to speak with them, to um, let our let them uh, to let them know who we are, what we what we do. The people representing us would not be the type of people that could or would entertain doing something of that nature. Um, having people you know, leave a forum or whatnot that, that, that has been advertised in the open forum.
Correct. Oh, so were you asking after someone recognized that you're the applicant to... Um, the, the, the way it happened out was mm -hmm. we had gone in and sat down. Mm -hmm. um, and at some point, um, apparently Janine had seen us. She had to have. She came in afterward. And um, all of a sudden, I mean... Before the meeting started. Right, before oh, the meeting actually started. The lady stood up and asked anyone who did belong to certain communities um, that it was a private town hall meeting and that we... That we please leave. That we leave. Yes. I'm sure she had to recognize me for Yes. Um, one of the gentlemen standing, uh, as we were walking out, um, said, uh, mentioned along the lines of, there will be other town hall meetings, and left it at that. Was anyone else asked to leave? I mean, probably people left as well, because, yes. I mean, because, you know, they didn't live in this community. Mm -hmm. Not the only ones, but, you know, right. It, it felt like he was being shown out. Because mm -hmm. our property was one of the topics of the that is correct. Mm -hmm. and, and the topic is that you are willing to sell and that potentially Amazon can purchase the property. Uh, mm -hmm. No, um, it, that we were to that we were going to sell to a developer. Yeah. Um, I do not know. There was more than one um, development that was being uh, the topic. It was just across and we just got across the road from us and we wanted to know about that. And also, also about Amazon, but the, our main reason to be there was because we were. We were in, wanted to introduce ourselves right. to. The Bristol, uh, New Bristol Village. Yeah. The Thomas Family's buyer is a home builder, not Amazon, to be clear. Right. Do you have a name for what the community would be called? Or? Um, I, I guess we don't know. Mark, Mark Thomas, Thomas, Farm, Thomas Farm Development. Okay. And how many acres do you own? Eight. 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 And no one, I'm assuming no one reached out to you before this and said, you know, you being the applicant, we'd rather you not attend. No, no, no not, not at all. all. Do you know if there were any other people who live in that area along Clinton Hall Road who were told that they should leave because they didn't specifically live in the HOA community? And how was it embarrassing for you? Was it public that you were asked to leave? Yes. Correct. So basically, it is public if you're asked to leave. Yep. We're one of the ones who leave. Yes. yes. In other words, we're sitting, we're waiting for a meeting that is a public hall, mm -hmm. and um, after being told that um, this meeting, um, if, if you're not, uh, if you're not a member or within this community, mm -hmm. we would they said we would ask for you to. We kindly ask you to leave. Was it more than just New Bristol Village, or did they say only New Bristol Village people? Because at, um, New, New Bristol Village and Avondale was one, and then there was another one, but we didn't quite touch that one. Because we were in shock. I mean, yes. Mm -hmm. We were going to ask us to leave the town hall. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've only heard of this um, organized by the HOA. Oh, oh okay. We did not know that. Um, so, like, what were you going to say? Oh, to introduce ourselves to, uh, because we know that we are right next door. We're, and we're going to okay. talk something about that. And sure. Sure. Um, and, yeah, and tell what we do in the community. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so why be so public about this? About about all of this. Like, why are you demanding public apology? Can you approach the you know, supervisor office after this happened and explain? No, we did not. But we did not hear anything from their office. I mean, it's been several days, and we haven't heard anything no one has reached out to us. Um. Um. Um, you were asking, have we approached them through uh, the developer and things of that nature? Yes, uh, they know that uh, as well as uh, when we sent the information uh, to the members of the board that um, that is it's something very uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. there's a common sense they'd be happy to give it a state you know Un already unpleasant about the way Perfect. we were and the lead so they definitely know and this is the reason that we were at a board meeting which is coming up here within an hour or so we were going to um, express um, the way we felt about it 